my name is Richard West and we are on the 620 flight from Luton Airport to the south of France because uh, we're going to visit the Arl Photo Festival. The aeroplane is probably full of photographers. We met a few in the airport. I've never been to the festival before so the idea is to find out what the event's all about and maybe we'll get to speak to some people there, find out why they're visiting and uh, see why people come every year to, uh, to Arles. At this point in time, if I could kindly ask you to return to your seats to ensure your seatbelts are securely fastened. There should be no walking or standing in the cabin iron and the use of the toilets is not permitted at this time. Thank you. So, could you tell me who you are? Uh, Billy Marquis. I'm Angela Dennis. So we're waiting for a taxi and immediately we've fallen in with two people who are veterans of the festival. So how many times have you been before? Uh, this will be my sixth time. This is just my second. So what do we expect? Highlights would, for me would definitely be the talks around midday. They do lots of Q&As and depending on the discussions, they have a lot of discussions that would, you could either contribute towards the end or just sit there and or like you know be in awe of your most amazing photographers that you studied and in a beautiful mediterranean setting really so we should cut away to the beautiful mediterranean setting which is in <laughs> fact pouring the rain <laughs> yeah. we've arrived in the center of Arles. we've been to get our press accreditation and I've got our, our media pack with information about the different exhibitions that are on. I've been to see so two shows. Next to the town hall in a reconfigured church was the David Bailey show that had been come from the Portrait Gallery in London. And on the opposite side of the square um, was a suite of rooms with a show of a private collection of photographs of crowds, vernacular pictures of military units, all types of photographs with hundreds of th even thousands of people in them. The, the venues themselves are quite grand. In the programme it credits the wallpaper manufacturers of the different venues uh, along with different each exhibition. And uh, now we've had a cup of coffee I think we'll go off and see some more exhibitions. We're here outside a launch of the Photo Bookshop, which is a venue for a series of different publishers. And part of the celebratory atmosphere, we have Tanya and Trish from the Gallery of Photography have just arrived. Tanya, what do you expect from the next few days? I'm very much looking forward to our annual uh, stint as portfolio reviewers, which is a sort of a hidden side of the uh, photo rencontre here now and it's uh, you give up kind of two after two mornings or two afternoons so it's quite intensive and you get to see a truly international range of uh, young photographers um, it's 20 minutes it's very you know they've paid money you're aware of that so you just try to keep it very businesslike and you can be somehow more abrupt than you might otherwise be because there's this turnaround and they also have other they have a time limit as well and they, there's no point in change, wasting their time if you know it's not, not your bag but it's a fantastic place to network and to meet people and to get a, get a feel of what other people are gearing up to so institutional relationships and partnerships and everything are part of what gets done here as well at, at events like this very much so, yes. Uh, very nice uh, to, to, to run here, run into here to Photohof, the fantastic gallery and publisher from Salzburg in Austria. It's photography because you can make it digitally and so on. You don't necessarily actually meet some of the people some of the time when you're when you're curating work internationally. So um, it, it makes an extra bonus to come to one place and everyone to be together and to meet.